I think, in the media since the election. We've seen huge changes in behavior in terms of civic engagement. And I will say, in the 25 years that I've been working in media, that I have never seen journalists work as hard and as successfully to do not access journalism, but real accountability journalism um, you know, in, my, in my working years. So I, I mean, it's true but, what but you say. But that goes back to what Clyde said. But it's Too many people are entitled to their own facts. And, the, and I could easily argue that nothing's happened. Donald Trump had about 42 or 43% of the electorate on November 8th. And he has about 42 or 43% of the electorate now. And no matter what we discover, there are certain people who are going to support him because they haven't made the effort. And by the way, the same thing is true on the left, to really be citizens. But you don't have to you convince all of them, which you never will. As he said, you know, he could shoot somebody on Fifth Avenue and they'd still be for him. Uh, you don't have to convince all of them to save democracy. You just have to have this resistance take shape. And you're seeing it now in the media as well, the mainstream media. So the Washington Post's new motto is democracy dies in the darkness. I think it's a pretty good motto, mm -hmm. almost as good as my favorite newspaper motto of all time from a mid-century newspaper called PM, which was, we don't like people who push other people around. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and, and the New York Times, truth is hard. They're also, they understand the basic values that are at stake. So I, I, I'm with you, Sarah. I'm kind of encouraged that we will have this uh, resistance that, uh, Democracy is historically a fragile flower, but it's been pretty hardy in the United States. So this is where I end up survive. sounding like uh, Little Mary Sunshine. I actually think for journalists, what's happening is incredibly positive. If Hillary Clinton wins the last election, we're not sitting up here. We're not having these conversations. We're not talking about this. Journalism doesn't get under the, micro, the magnifying glass. And I think ultimately we will be better off in terms of what, how this, how this profession and this this craft, I, I hope we can still call it that, serves the republic, because I think we're engaged in this very deep dive about what is involved in our doing our jobs in a way that benefits the democracy most uh, productively and intensely. 